Hi guys and welcome along to my YouTube video. On this video I'm going to show you how to use EZ Base and Flash a Custom ROM. This ROM that I'm going to flash is going to be um, Cyanogen Mod 7. Um, this is the first time that I've flashed this ROM so I'll show you how to do it as well. Um, I'm going to be coming from a stock ROM now this is um, stock JPY which is Android 2.2.1 and you can see that there. The phone isn't rooted um, and there's no other modifications on it at all. I've just put it back to basic stock just to let you see that it is definitely not rooted. Now EZ Base will root your phone and put um, Clockwork Recovery on it for you so that you can then leap onto a custom ROM. Now the first thing you want to do is download EZ Base. Um, the download location for that will be in the video description which is just at the at the bottom of the video. Okay. Um, I've already downloaded Cyanogen Mod 7 and I've put it on the root of my internal SD card already so I'll be skipping past all that as well. So the first thing you want to do is open up your EZ base um, application. Right now I've opened up the, the folder where I've downloaded everything to so I'm going to open EZ Odin. Now, in here we're going to put a PIT file in, PDA, phone, and ESC file in there. Okay, so I'll start to file in the PIT. Now I'll move on to the PDA. Now make sure you put these in the correct order. the PDA going in and your phone it says phone here so we'll pop that in and finally the CSC and we'll pop that in ok now as you can see here we've got all our files in the correct boxes and everything. Pick the phone into mode. Now to put your phone into download mode when you're on a standard ROM you want to press volume down, power, uh, volume down, home button and then your power button. Now your phone will automatically be in a download mode. So what we want to do now is connect our USB lead to the phone. Pop that up here. Now that the phone's connected to the PC, Odin has picked up the the phone because the COM port has turned yellow. So once you've done all that, just click start and basically this will flash this will flash your phone Okay, now that's the process more or less finished. Dumping the the new um, firmware onto the phone. So now your phone will reboot, and once it reboots, 
it'll have everything you need to then move on to a custom ROM. Now again this will just take a, a few minutes to load up. Okay now that's the phone finally rebooted and um, it will hang in the Galaxy S logo stage for a few minutes so don't worry about that it's perfectly it's perfectly normal for it to do that okay now once this media scanner is finished running we'll go into the applications and we'll have a little look to see what EZ base has put on it let's try it now see if it's awake it is okay we've now got ROM manager super user and titanium backup okay so now what you want to do is if you've not already done so transfer your chosen ROM your custom ROM and place it on the root of your SD card I've already done that so I'm now just going to power the phone down and reboot it into recovery and from there I'm going to flash CM7 on it right that's the phone finally shut down volume up power home all at the same time and now that will enter recovery and again it's the same process basically you want to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and I'm going to go down for CM7 this is version 14 you can see that. I'm going to select that and just confirm it. Now that will take a few minutes to do its stuff and then once it starts rebooting um, you'll see uh, Cyanogen Mod 7 um, logos but again this process will take a it will take a few minutes to do it so what we'll do is we'll just um, pause the video here and come back once it's loaded up and as you can see there that's the ROM more or less unpacked itself and it's going into its first boot it's first boot will probably take packing everything shoot quick there you go that only took a matter of minutes not even that actually so there we go there's CM7 and there's all your applications that come with that one thing you won't get with the ROM is um, the market and what have you but there is a way to to get that um, through clockwork recovery so basically what you want what you want to do is set up your your um, Wi-Fi connection and um, then you can download it via clockwork recovery which I'll just show you right we are now I've just set up my Wi-Fi so I'm now going to go into ROM manager Oops, going to ROM manager, sorry. Okay, that. And you want to flash it first. So we're going to choose Galaxy S i9000. And flash that. Choose um, Clockwork Mod 3. Okay, that. 
Now we want to download a ROM. Once you click download ROM, it gives you the options here. What you can, what you can um, download. And the one we're looking for is Google Apps. So we'll take the top one and we'll click download. Just don't click that because I'm going to be reflashing it again. Now once your phone restarts again, you will have all the the market and from memory I think it gives you the choice what you want to install like Facebook, Gmail, um, Google Maps and what have you. So we'll just let that do its thing and we'll come back. Okay, now that didn't take long at all. So now it's asking us to finish finish setup. Okay, now you'll already have a Google account, so if you sign in, which I'll do just now. Right, that's me signed in. So there we go. Now if we check it, we should see market in here, which is right there. So that's how you put Cyanogen Mod 7 on your phone. It will be a little bit slow to start with, but once it um, gets itself together, mind you in saying that I haven't really got much of a Wi-Fi signal down here. So there we go. And there's the market. So that's it. That's how you get Cyan Engine Mod 7 on it. And also I've noticed that it started putting apps on the on the phone which are obviously in my Google Market account so it must be downloading them automatically. So there you go. That's Cyan Engine Mod 7 and how to install it. But you don't have to install that ROM, you can install um, Darkies ROM, and Hamster ROM, you know, and any other ROM really that you can. It, it takes your fancy, but that's just the ROM that I decided to show you on um, this video. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.